Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. That song ended faster than I than I thought it would. Had to kind of run in the room here. <laughs> Thanks so much for being with us for our nightly concert. Um, Antonio's coming in just a second. <laughs> that um, tune you just heard comes from our classical jazz album, which we released last year. And that was um, Mozart's Sonata in C major combined with Charlie Parker's Yardbird Sweep. There he is. <laughs> Um, we like to kind of make it like a, it, like you can imagine that you're in a concert hall, you know, when you go into the theater and, you know, the musicians aren't on stage yet, but they're playing some music over the speakers as you wait. So that's what we like to kind of, kind of do here. But that, uh, that tune went by a little faster than I remembered it. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for being with us tonight. We are Laura Dubin and Antonio Guerrero. Thank you so much for joining us. And I'd like to say a big welcome to anybody who might happen to be joining us for the first time. Um, we've had a lot of new followers this week. A lot of um, folks have recently liked this Facebook page, and we thank you so much, and we'd like to extend a warm welcome to you. And um, tonight, for those of you who've been um, watching all of our concerts, um, tonight I will be attempting to read through the comments as we play, um, because I noticed that um, as we, we love to say hello to everybody afterward, after we finish playing, but sometimes not all of the comments show up um, when I'm looking at them afterward and I feel terrible that I missed some of them and I don't want anybody to feel left out and we also want to know um, who's watching. So I'll be checking in a different way um, like as we play to see if anyone's leaving comments and uh, if I see any comments pop up, I'll take a look and we'll say hello to all of you. So what is first on the menu tonight? Ah. Since it is now the 20s, it's 2020, um, we'd like to start off with a little music from the Roaring 20s. And earlier this year, when it was January and we were still doing a bunch of live performances, seems like a lifetime ago that <laughs> we were doing that, um, we played a lot of music from the 1920s because it was the 20s again. And um, the 1920s were known as the Jazz Age, so of course, as jazz musicians, um, we always wish we could have lived in the 20s, but the next best thing is just to play some of that music. So this is the original Charleston, and please feel free to get up and dance to this one.
called the original charleston and i always wish that i um knew how to dance like that of course i can i can fake it i mean i can <laughs> i can get up and pretend i know what i'm doing and move move my arms and legs around but i would love to really learn how to dance like that someday so um if you're joining us tonight and enjoying the music please leave us a comment and say hello and uh, you can let us know where you're watching from whether you're here in rochester or whether you are in um, another part of the world or in another galaxy or uh, Alpha Centauri or exactly. something. Another dimension. Yeah. Um, and if you're new here, please introduce yourself. We'd love to meet you, even if it's only through Facebook. And I saw a comment pop up just now, so I'm just going to go ahead and see who that's from. Got a new little method here tonight. But now I actually got to, I think, refresh my own page here. This is the first time doing this, but I'm sure I'll get the hang of it in the next few nights. Here we are, live right now, whoa. Oh, Siobhan, hey Siobhan, thanks so much for watching. Thank you for my watching, friend, My friend, Jason, oh, I remember Jason. <laughs> he used to get up on the table and dance the Charleston whenever there was a fight in our middle school cafeteria. Oh my gosh, that's the best thing ever. Look, oh, I can see them a little bit better here. Perfect, oh, actually, having a, let's see. This is a th This was after we did a social studies unit on the Roaring Twenties. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> Hey, Donna, thank you so much for watching again. She thank says, you, Donna. Uh, my ringers go off at 8.30 p.m. so I can focus totally on your glorious music. Oh, thank you so much. Fred Hirsch gave a mini concert today. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah Honoring uh, Dizzy Gillespie's birthday. That. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Fred's actually live streaming concerts every day. Yeah. Um, I think at 1 o'clock he does something called Tune of the Day. And uh, I've been watching them every day. Or um, some days I don't get to see them in real time, but I've been saving all of them and watching them later that night. So... <laughs> We're the jazziest couple in Rochester. Aw, thank you oh. so much. <laughs> Ricardo Auditor. Hi from Mexico. Auditore. Did I pronounce your name correctly? Hi, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Ricardo. And Alejandro is here. Hola, Ale. Thank Hola, you so Ale. much for watching. Thank you. Let's see if I say this right. Lindo Escuchar Su Musica. Did I say that correctly? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Hola, Ale and Mary Lou and Deanna and Alejandro Jr. are probably there too. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching all the family yeah. from Mexico. Thank you. <laughs> I think maybe um, when we do this again tomorrow, I'll adjust the focus a little bit so I can see it there a little bit better. And that way I don't have to like crane my neck <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, Deanna. Hola, Deanna. <laughs> Hola. Thank you so much for watching. I mean, I can see the names, but then the smaller text is, well, I can see that like that says hi from Mexico, but the um, longer sentences are, like a little bit blurry but we'll work on this new method work in progress so um next we'd like to play a tune that was made famous by the great singer and pianist nat king cole and i actually should have said pianist and singer because he was actually a pianist first before he became so famous as a singer and not everybody knows that so i wanted to mention that he was a phenomenal jazz pianist and he was actually one of Oscar Peterson's heroes. Um, Oscar Peterson was hugely inspired by Nat King Cole. And I just learned an interesting story about Nat King Cole last night that I actually never knew. Um, for those of you who are familiar with his music, you probably know that the original Nat King Cole trio consisted of Nat on the piano, and then there was a bassist and guitarist and no drums, which is kind of interesting. Most of the time, a jazz trio has a drummer. Um, and I always... Oh, yeah, go ahead. I never knew exactly why he had that particular configuration without drums. I just thought it was kind of a matter of uh, personal taste. And the guitarist in the group kind of, um, in my opinion, sort of played the role of the drummer because the guitarist actually did a lot of rhythmic things that kind of um, were like, I guess, a substitute for the drums. Um, but I never knew until last night I read a little article about Nat King Cole. And apparently um, his first band... Um, 
I mean, the first band that he had kind of like a regular working gig with was supposed to have a drummer, and the drummer never showed up to the gig. So they became the Nat King Cult trio without uh, drum. drummers. Always drummers. <laughs> drum everything. If Antonio had been in that group, he absolutely he never would have missed that gig. So you would have been making them in the I Nat King Cult gig. quartet. I never <laughs> yeah. So I bet that drummer regretted missing that gig once Nat King Cole became so famous um, because he could have been up there with him, but who knows. Um, Anyway, so this is a tune. It wasn't written by Nat King Cole, but he did make this song famous. It's called Orange Colored Sky. And this is actually one of the first jazz tunes I ever heard because um, my parents had a record. Actually, I think it was a cassette tape of his daughter, Natalie Cole, the great singer who unfortunately passed away a few years ago. Um, too young. Um, but one of the first jazz albums I ever heard was this album that Natalie Cole did in honor of her father. It's called Unforgettable with Love um, from Natalie Cole. And um, actually, there's a track on the album where she sings the song Unforgettable as a duet with her father. Yeah. Um, of course, she was singing it along with like the recording of him, which I think is so beautiful. That was yeah. one of the first recordings that they did in that way, and I think was very nice yeah it was a big innovation um at the time to do that and now it's like a kind of a normal way to record for many people um so i learned this tune orange colored sky from that album it's also the first time i ever heard the word alakazam which is one of the song lyrics and when i was like three years old hearing that tune for the first time i thought that was so funny like whoa what is that word (laughs) so i always remember that and i always like this tune orange colored sky
that was orange colored sky made popular by the great Nat King Cole. If you're enjoying the music tonight and you would like to see us continue doing these videos for as long as possible, please head on over to lauradubin.com. There's a link right in the video here. Um, it's either at the top of the screen or maybe on the side of the screen, depending on what kind of device you're using right now. Um, and there are three different ways that you can make a contribution if you'd like to show your support for what we're doing. The first is you can download our albums. We've got seven albums for you to choose from. Um, our first album was recorded in 2013. It feels like a lifetime ago now. Yeah. And our most recent three albums were all recorded last year in 2019. We had a very busy year. Um, so there's plenty of music to get you through the next few weeks or months. Um, you can also make a one-time donation. There are several suggested amounts that you can choose from, but you can adjust any of them by changing the quantity. And you'll see that if you scroll a little bit farther down the page past the pictures of the album covers. And then the third and final option is you can become a monthly patron of Laura Dubin Jazz. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom of the same page, you'll see that option. And there's a drop-down menu you can click on, and you can choose the amount that you'd like to donate once per month. And then you'll see a yellow button that says subscribe. When you click on that button, you'll be redirected to a PayPal website and you can set up an automatic credit card payment from there. So it'll be an automatic monthly payment. Um, you just have to set it up one time and then it'll just um, continue, continue um, to be charged to your credit card once a month. Um, you can always cancel if, you know, further down the road, um, anything changes with your financial situation and you need to um, stop doing the monthly contribution, you can always go back and manage your payment and there's no penalty if you do need to cancel. But of course, we hope that if you sign up, you'll continue to keep it as an ongoing thing. Um, it's a great way to show your support if you'd like to see us continue doing these videos as long as possible. And we're really enjoying it so much and we're so grateful to have an opportunity to keep sharing our music with you during this time. And it's just a great way, um, you know, for you to show your support if you kind of believe in what we're doing. And a huge thank you to everybody who's yeah. already supported us. Um, the amount of community response that we've had has been absolutely amazing. Um, we didn't really know what was going to happen when we first started these, but we're just, you know, trying to do, to do the best we can with what we have in the situation that we're in. We are so lucky. Yeah, we Honestly, really feel very you. lucky to have the support of all of you. And if you're unable to um, make a financial contribution right now, that's totally okay. Um, the most important thing is that you're here and you're watching our videos and you're listening to our music. And um, we thank you so much for being here. And thank you to everybody for sharing our videos too, because our audience has really grown in the last few weeks, thanks to our friends who have shared the videos. So thank you so much. I'm going to pop on over here um, to my Facebook page again just to see if any new comments popped up. I can adjust the... the yeah, maybe we can change the settings for a second. Let's see. Quality. Oh, I got everybody's comments so far. Um, yeah, we're going to do a little technical thing here for a second. <laughs> oh, I can see. Actually, I'll let you know when I can, uh, when I can, when I can see. I just... Oh, that's good. Actually, yeah. can it be a little sharper than that? That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. There or less? I think that's good. I think it's yeah. a little better than it was, yeah. I had my eyes examined recently, and apparently I don't need glasses, but <laughs> sometimes things look a little bit blurry to me. So There we go. Yeah. Deanna, thank you for sharing our video. Yay! <laughs> Tell me if I pronounce this right. Is it Ja Empezo? Or Empezo? Empezo? Did I say that word correctly? Uh, yeah. What does that, what does that word mean? It was already beginning. It's a start. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Thank you, Deanna. Muchas gracias. All right. Well, I'll keep checking back if I see that anything pops up while we're um, playing the next tune. Um, thank you all for bearing with us tonight as we do this. Um, so the next tune we'd like to play is by a wonderful pianist and composer named Claire Fisher. It's a, a gentleman named Claire, C-L-A-R-E. And um, I actually learned this composition from my uncle David, D David Dubin, who I mentioned a few nights ago, my jazz piano playing uncle. If you're watching tonight, hi, David. It's so great to talk to you the other night. Um, my uncle David recorded his own um, album um, when I was um, 
younger. I think it was like in the 90s. Um, it was actually just an album that he recorded for his uh, his family and friends. But I always thought that he should release this as a real album because I love it so much. So many great songs. And I just love the way my Uncle David plays the piano. He's been such an inspiration to me my whole life. And this is a tune that I first learned from that album. And it's called Morning by Claire Fisher. It's also called Una Manana, right? Yeah. Is that the Spanish title? Yeah. One Morning. <laughs> right in the morning <laughs> if there are, are there any friends fans out there like me woo there's a there's one episode where uh <laughs> Joey has a neighbor who sings this song that goes mornings here it's actually um, it's actually Feels so, Feel so good. good by Chuck Mangione. Um, the melody of Feels So Good with lyrics about the morning. So yeah. literally the word morning <laughs> always makes me think of that. <laughs>
called Morning by the wonderful pianist and composer Claire Fisher. And I saw one comment pop up there while we were playing, so I'm going to take a look here and see who it was from. Let's see. There we go. Oh, hi, Linda. Great to see you. She says, hi, I'm here. Wonderful. Thank so you, great Linda. to see you. I'm glad I saw your comment here tonight. And your mom says, beautiful music. Oh, muchas gracias. Yes, ma. Let's see. Oops. This piece was very famous in Mexico. A lot of singers sing this song. Oh, really? Yeah. It doesn't surprise me, but I don't think I actually knew that. So. Yeah, Claire Fisher was well, was famous all around the world, but Mexico was especially famous. Oops. Lynn Bielman's watching. Hi, Lynn. Great to have you here again. Thank you, Lynn. I thought I saw um, a different one pop up. Okay, well, this must be it. Let's see. All right, there we go. All right, back to here again. So um, if our friend Bob is watching, um, this next tune goes out to you. Yeah. Um, this is a Thelonious Monk tune, and it is so much fun to play. And um, actually, I just realized the last time we saw Bob and Sue was at our very last public gig before this all happened. Yeah. It was actually on Friday the 13th. How's that for an ominous sign of, uh, of things to come? Um, so that night, um, our dear friends Bob and Sue came to see us, and um, Bob said, I think you said that you had just heard the song on the radio in the car on the way um, to see us, and you asked if we knew this tune, and at the time, we, um, I was familiar with the song, but we hadn't actually played it before, but we have learned it now, and it's so much fun to play. This is a Thelonious Monk composition called Nutty, Nutty. <laughs>
don't know if you could tell, but we were having a little bit of fun playing that one. <laughs> just just a little bit. <laughs> a lot. I, I love the, the melody. So, they are so, I don't know, like, funny. Yeah, uh, but like in a in a good way. Oh, yeah. Not like in a making fun of no, them no, kind no, of way. Yeah. I don't know. They're like quirky. Monk is yeah. kind of a character. Yeah, perhaps. very much so. And I think he was like, really such an icon of jazz. Like, if you want to, like, you know, learn about a real, just kind of authentic jazz musician who always stayed true to themselves no matter what, I think Thelonious Monk is possibly the best example of yeah, great a jazz musician. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all his compositions were, had something unique about them. And I think one of his biggest things, he used a lot of repetition to the point where a little phrase that might sound kind of funny if you just hear it once sounded so convincing and like it couldn't have possibly been played any other way simply because he would repeat them to the point where it makes you think this is what it's supposed to be and if even one yes. note was different it would be wrong. It's not <laughs> it's it's amazing. in the logical or in the well, in the downbeat. Probably. Yeah. You know, it's always <laughs> it's upbeat. It's always... Yeah, it's not it's not in like the easy place where your brain immediately yeah, thinks it's gonna be. But, it. Yeah, so thank you so much, Bob, for um, suggesting yeah. that tune to us, and that was a great um, suggestion from our last last live performance that we did. And I saw a couple comments pop up, so let's see who they were. Let's see. I think I need to like refresh this. Let's just one more time. Yeah. Do de do de do de do de. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. oh good bob is watching yay yes, he says i'm watching you, thanks for playing nutty yay we're so <laughs> so glad you you're able to watch hopefully i was um, worried that i didn't give you enough uh notice before um but i'm glad glad you're able to, to be here tonight thank you for a great suggestion yeah thank you, bob. and uh, linda says what a fun piece some great percussion there antonio <laughs> yeah thank you, <laughs> thank you so much linda all righty let's continue with the music here so um, we have just a couple more tunes before we say goodnight. For those of you who are watching for the first time, um, well, normally we stick around for a few minutes and um, chat with you all afterward. And I love to take a look at the comments and um, I'm sure there'll be some more comments to read later on. So even after the music ends, we um, will not say goodnight immediately. Um, we are doing these concerts every night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So um, please continue to tune in with us. Um, we're going to be here every single night for a very, very, very long time. Yes. As of right now, this we're going to be plan. doing it forever. <laughs> yeah. Um, we don't know what's going to happen in the world right now, but all we know is that we're really enjoying doing this. And for, for now, we're going to continue this as long as we can. Um, so next, we'd like to play a tune by Horace Silver. And many of you have heard us playing some Horace Silver tunes at... Um, during several of our concerts. Um, this is a beautiful ballad that he wrote called Peace, which of course is something that we all need right now more than ever. And the, I learned a great story. Of, oh, no, peace. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were saying, like, <laughs> saying you wanted to say, did the camera get you there yet? It didn't. It wouldn't look cool with the shadow behind you. <laughs> peace, man. So um, <laughs> I learned a good story about how Horace Silver composed this, this piece. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> I had to say yes, peace because peace. Um, and actually, peace. Bill Evans has a composition called Peace Peace, which is first spelled P I E C E P E A C E. But anyway, we'll play that tune a different day. But this is Horace Silver's <laughs> composition called Peace. And I read his autobiography a couple of years ago. And his autobiography, by the way, has the best title ever. It's called Let's Get to the Nitty Gritty which I think was the name of one of his compositions and or albums. Um, but Horace said that this um, particular tune um, just came out of him one day so suddenly at the piano. Um, and he allegedly felt like there was an angel sitting on his shoulder when he composed this and basically telling him what to write because um, the way it just kind of came out of him was just was so natural and it happened so... Um, like quickly, he almost didn't feel like it was him himself doing the composing. And it's one of his, his favorite compositions that he wrote. And it's only 10 measures long, yes, which is the amazing. Form of the piece is so uh, special. Yeah. Say it's asymmetric. Well, it's yes. symmetrical, but when I think of symmetry in music, I think of um, 
like multiples of eight because that's like the most common um you know musical form but this is really kind of like eight measures plus an extra two measures if you think about it like that but it's amazing how such a short and simple tune just is so profoundly profoundly beautiful and this piece is such a great example of it so this is called peace and we wish you lots of peace peace during this time was called Peace by Horace Silver. And I just did this in the camera af- afterward, but I, I noticed that the shot wasn't, wasn't on me. So let's see if it, uh, if it comes back in a second. There we go. <laughs> peace and love. <laughs> Such a beautiful piece of music. Well, we've got just one more tune to play for you. And um, before we play our last song, just for those of you who might have just joined us like a couple tunes ago and you missed um, my earlier um, speech, 
If you've been enjoying this music tonight and you'd like to make a contribution to show your support for what we're doing, please head on over to lauradubin.com after we play this last tune. There's a link right in the video here, and there are three different ways that you can support, um, support our music. The first is that you can download all of our albums. We've got seven albums for you to choose from, and uh, we hope that you'll do that because we love, um, you know, when people actually listen to our music. It's a great thing. Um, so we hope that you'll consider doing that. If you scroll a little bit farther past the pictures of the album covers, you'll see another option. You can make a one-time donation of any amount that you choose. There are several amounts there that you can choose from, but you can also adjust them by changing the quantity if you'd like to increase the amount. Um, and the third and final option, if you scroll all the way to the bottom of the same page, you can become a monthly patron of Laura Dubin Jazz, and you'll set up an automatic credit card payment that will go through once a month. And um, you'll see a drop-down menu with different amounts that you can choose from to donate once per month. And then after you click on the yellow subscribe button, you'll be redirected to a PayPal website. And that's where you'll set up your um, automatic monthly credit card payment. So you just have to set it up one time and then it'll just automatically happen um, once a month. And um, you can always cancel further on down the road if you need to for any reason. There's no penalty if you do. Um, if, that, if your situation changes and you need to, um, to cancel, there's, uh, again, no penalty. Um, and PayPal stores your information securely, and my website is also a secure site. Um, we don't have any access to your credit card info or anything like that. However, if you would like to make a donation but you don't want to do it through the internet, please send me a private message here on Facebook and we can talk about a different method. And if you're unable to make a donation at this time, that's totally okay. We really appreciate your support so much, just the fact that you're here um, listening to our music. It really means the world to us, and we're so thankful to have an audience to share our music with, especially during this time, even though we can't be out there, you know, on the scene at venues in uh, real life, if you want to call it that. I guess this is a real life now. Um, but we really appreciated the opportunity to keep sharing our music with all of you and to continue having an audience. The community support has meant so much to us and we really truly thank you from the bottom of our hearts. So our last tune tonight is a wonderful composition by the saxophonist John Coltrane and fasten your seatbelts for this one. It's called Moments Notice. Oh, and if you haven't left a comment yet, please uh, leave a comment and say hello. I'm gonna read through them all again at the end and I will say hello to all of you. And uh, let us know where you're watching from. And if you're new here, please introduce yourself and say hello.
That is all the music for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back here at the same time tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please let all your friends and family know about us. Um, thank you so much to everybody who's been sharing our videos. And I know a lot of you mentioned that you had um, some of your extended family watching. You had told them about our thank videos, you, yeah. and we appreciate that so much. So um, I'm just going to take a look here, and I'm going to use my, my phone now, I think, um, just to see if uh, any new comments came up. And I think I hopefully saw all the ones um, that came up earlier today. The reason, the reason that we tried this different method today is um, because sometimes when I was looking at the comments afterward, not all of them were showing up. And I think it's because the video is still live. And then um, I was able to see all of them after we finished, but um, we tried it this way tonight. And I think we're going to continue doing it. I just need to get a little it's better a at to, yeah. turning my neck or yeah. doing it a little more comfortably. Let's see here. Horace Silver seemed to have no single recognizable style. Love his music. That's that's Linda. Yes. Yeah, every single one of his tunes yes. are so different, which is, I think, the mark of a good composer. Um, I mean, so you know, he had a lot of tunes that were like swing tunes, um, you know, some that were kind of like more in a Latin or like kind of Afro-Cuban way or some yeah. ballads yeah, like this. Really but really covers all the styles. Yeah, they all had something really yeah. unique about them. Um, yeah, so, the, yeah, it's a great right. observation. And that's why we've enjoyed playing so much of his music these last few weeks because there's so much there. And um, we did this, actually Linda was a part of this, we did a Horace Silva tribute concert a few years ago. And I think we played like, I don't know, 22 of his, um, yes. his compositions, which... Seemed like a lot. It was two sets that we did, but that actually doesn't even scratch the surface of his songbook, which is incredible. It's literally like a lifetime project yes. to, to learn all his music. So, Siobhan says, I feel more peaceful already. Oh, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you, Siobhan. It really helped, like, helped me feel the same way playing, playing that tune. Yeah. I think I got everybody. Let's see, because I, I know we um, saw a lot of the comments earlier. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think? Is it good doing it this yes, way? Yes, I when, think it's, it's good. Huh? Yeah, because that way I don't, um, I don't think I miss anybody exactly. this time. If I did, then I'll have and to even check. We can say more check. in the moment when yeah. the people actually do the comment. Yeah, and, exactly. And we can reply a little bit in the, in the moment. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, thank you so much, everybody. It's been great spending the evening with you, and we look forward to doing it again tomorrow night. Thank you so much. Thank Adios. Bye-bye. <laughs> Adios. I beautiful <laughs>